Hey, good afternoon everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweet and sour sauce. This is very easy to make and it's used in any number of Chinese dishes, including some that I'm planning to make uh, in the future. That's why I'm shooting the sauce separately. Um, now, I have tinkered with this till I got as close to what I think is an authentic, high quality restaurant standard. Okay? Now, that said, the color that uh, the finished product may not be exactly what you're used to at your local takeout uh, because what they often do is adjust it to their own color using a couple of drops either of yellow or red or both of food coloring. Now, in my recipe I have left out the food coloring because uh, there are a lot of people that are allergic to uh, dyes and whatnot. The taste is the same, however if you have somebody at home that just won't eat it unless it's the right color you can get yourself some yellow or red and just try putting in a drop at a time until you get just the right color. Here's the list of ingredients. First thing to do is to get the cornstarch mixture ready. Give that a brief stir and set that aside for the time being. So salt, sesame, sugar, vinegar, and the ketchup. I'm quite careful with the amount I put in here. You always want to put in just a tablespoon. Try not to put in more. And when I put it in, I don't scrape it out. I just put in whatever falls out. Turn the heat on to medium and start stirring that up. What you want to do is use your spatula to basically press out any leftover bits of ketchup to get them to dissolve into the sauce. Once you have nearly all the ketchup incorporated, just grab your cornstarch mix. Do you take the time to mix up the cornstarch that will have settled on the bottom? before you add it. Pour all of that in. Once that's incorporated, you can turn up the heat a little bit. Just be careful if you're using gas that it's not so high that you end up burning the sides of the pan. Once you can see, and I'll zoom in here for you to see it, that there's little sort of clots forming. That's the cornstarch starting to cook. When you see that, yes, do turn it down again to medium. You want to keep control of the heat on this. So after you've been stirring it for a bit and you start to see that it's coming to a boil, really stay with it at this point and stir constantly. until the sauce comes to a full boil and you'll see that it starts to become nearly clear.
when your sauce is at this point that it's bubbling all the way through and you can see that it's nearly clear in some spots just make sure you give your spatula a really good stir and take it off the heat so that is the finished sweet and sour sauce I'm just going to transfer it briefly to a bowl here so you can get a better look at it now this is ready to add to any stir fry or a fried dish like if you have some deep fried whatever pork chicken shrimps that you're planning to use this with you can use this as a dipping sauce with egg rolls too so let me just transfer that and give you a look so here's the sauce and as you can see from me stirring it around it's a very nice consistency it sticks to the spoon so you can see how it's going to stick to any food that you're going to coat it with and it has a pretty good presentation too and the flavor is really nice so here's my sweet and sour sauce you're going to be seeing it in a few other recipes to come um, and i hope you like watching this do try it and i hope to see you again